I want to share with you guys a, a method that I've devised for working out if uh, an activity or a, or a habit or something that you do is healthy uh, or behavior is healthy. Uh, now you can apply this to anything in your life, right? And a lot of us uh, people who are in the fitness industry, we've heard of the 5x5 five five as it relates to, you know, weights. And this is my version of 5x5. Five five. So if you're doing something and you want to know if that thing is healthy, times that activity by five years. So let's say, let's say I go to McDonald's and uh, every day I go to McDonald's and I get a Big Mac. If I do this for five years, what is that going to look like? Now take that same idea, that same concept. Imagine every day I eat healthy. Every day I eat salad, I eat fresh, raw fruit and vegetables. I eat whatever, I eat healthily. Now times that by five years. Can you see the result? Can you see the difference between those two activities? Any activity you do, times it by five years and see where you end up. Think about it. Imagine yourself uh, five years down the track. That's the first one. The second one is if you have a behavior towards your friends or family or relationship, whatever it is, if you want to know if that behavior is healthy, times it by 50 friends. Now I say five by five, but whatever, it's just the number five. Five, five friends, it might still be sustainable, but 50 friends, let me give you an example. Let's say I have a friend who needs to borrow some money. Let's say he wants to borrow $50. I lend him $50, it's not a big deal. And if it is just one friend, it isn't a big deal. But what say if I had to lend five friends $50? Or 50 friends $50? All of a sudden, you see that these things aren't sustainable. And that's the key, guys. The key here is sustainability of activity. Sustainability of what you do on a daily basis. And this is why daily actions are so important. Daily habits are everything. That You know what? They're more important than your goals, believe it or not. Everyone gets hung up on goals, man, but if you have the right daily habits, the right daily actions, even if you have no goals, you will end up successful, happy, healthy, in an amazing place. So, I'll give you another example. Let's say I go for a walk every morning. I times that by five years, it looks pretty good. Let's say I sit on the couch every day and I times that by five years. Doesn't look so good, does it? What about friends who need help? You know the friends I'm talking about. I'm not talking about the people in our lives who contribute, who we help out from time to time. I'm talking about those needy friends who don't have their shit together. And all they do is complain. Well, for a start, why the fuck are they in your life? <laughs> if that's what they're like, man, fucking get rid of them. They're toxic. But let's say, let's say they're okay. Because we're talking about our behavior, right? The behavior in ourself. Let's say this friend is okay, and we want to offer them help. And we spend a portion of our day helping this person. I say help because often... What we think is help is actually just support. We're holding them up, which is causing them to become weak. Let's say I want to help 50 friends. How much time do I have left? How much time do I have left in the day for me, for my progress, for my personal development, for my business, for my health? Do you see? Times it by five, five years, times it by 50 friends. Where do you end up? Are you a good place? Are you 
Are you happy and healthy? Are you successful? Or are you struggling? Guys, tell me about someone in your life who is like this. Tell me about someone you think that if you times this friend by 50, you would be in a very bad place. And I also want to know what daily actions you guys take. So tell me what you do each day and where you think you'll end up in five years if you continue that. That's it.